Do -de -do -de -do -de -do. JT, huh? We're on the air, huh? We're on the air. Oh, why didn't you tell me? I did. Uh, good morning, folks. This is a Cap Guy show. Starting a Cap Guy. This guru over here. Don't give me a warning when we're going on the air. And I'm JT. And we live in Oklahoma. Home of Garth Brooks, Yukon, Oklahoma. And Cap Guy got a bunch of new subscribers. Thanks to Kevin at Commonwealth Picker. Thank you, Kevin. And Commonwealth Flipper channel. Check them out. Subscribe. Even though they got a lot more we do. He's been doing it longer. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. And he's got some great home hustler kids and a wife and good family in Virginia. And he left California. <laughs> I'm not even going there. Yep, yeah, he lives in Virginia, and the cap guy's going to introduce himself to y'all, those new subscribers, and we thank you, Diana, and Bridgman49. We can't see all the subscribers that subscribe to our channel, but we appreciate all of you. For some reason, when they subscribe, they don't always show up as a subscriber, but we see them. We just can't see who it is in some cases. But anyway, we won't get into that. We'll ramble too much, and cap guy likes to ramble as it is. And, uh... He had 10 sales yesterday. We're going to get into those. We're going to have a little discussion. And wait a minute. Why does Kevin have two channels? <laughs> For different reasons. Uh, hmm. I can't figure out what that reason is. Well, to get more subscribers, monetize two channels. That'd be one of them. Okay, that makes sense. And uh, because he... Picks on one channel, kind of like Lonnie at Shed Flips, Garage Flips. And the other one's for when he's picking, and the other one's for when he's grinning or selling stuff. Oh, I like picking and grinning. He watches Hee Haw, too? <laughs> no, he don't. I don't know if he watches Hee Haw or not. He lives in Louisiana. He probably has. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, we ain't going to do the song right now anyway. But we have done it before. Check out our previous videos, and you'll see one of them. But anyway... Cap Guy going to get into what he sold and have a little discussion on Meet the Cap Guy. For those of you that have already seen it and know it and follow the channel, you might want to move forward a little bit on that unless you want to see it again. Anyway, Cap Guy, what are you going to do today? We're going to do more listing. We ain't sourced this week. What? You ain't sourced a bit this week? Yeah, I'm saving it for Friday and Saturday. Okay. Hey, he's lived up to it so far. He's been coming back pretty early after that post office, so... Anyway, we're going to get into what we sold. Thanks again for the new subscribers. We hope you like it. We learn, we'll hope you learn a tip or two. Cap Guy, you talk. I will when it's my turn. All right, time for the Cap Guy show, folks. Have a great day. <laughs> okay, JT, okay. Yes, I am the Cap Guy. And I make, a lot of times I make promises that I'm not going to source. And then I end up going. Because in Oklahoma City area... We do have a lot of sourcing opportunities, and one of them is the Goodwill Bins, and you'll hear me say bins a lot. We have a Goodwill Outlet, or Goodwill Bins, where everything is by the pound. Clothing is about $1.59 a pound until you get to like 25 pounds, and it drops at 99 cents a pound. Um, and everything is sorted at this, at this location. All the clothing is in big tables. I'm trying to visualize this for you. They're big tables on wheels, but they're they're like a bowl shape, so the stuff falls down in it. But it's you got to dig through it. It's not easy, and I have pulled some really good stuff: a fur coat, a jersey I sold for one hundred eighty dollars, a bunch of stuff out of there. Those are in one section, pretty much the majority of the large, uh, probably ten thousand square foot building. And then uh, they have bins of nothing but books, and a lot of Amazon resellers go to those. And buy books uh, again. Those are seventy-nine cents for a hardback and fifty-nine cents for a paperback. Then they have bins of shoes, and shoes are two twenty-nine for kids and two seventy-nine for adults. Um, they have bins of uh, appliances and golf clubs and computer printers and monitors and things like that. Big things and other bins. And then uh, finally, they have uh, sheets and pillows. And then they have on a roller system, and it's almost a full circle roller system. They rotate every couple of hours most of this stuff throughout the, the location, but they have the collapsible totes on a roller system, so they're basically waist to chest high, and you dig through those, and when they first open those up, people go crazy because they've got toys, they've got purses and glassware and pots and pans and 
you name it, the collectible, uh, DVD, CDs, all that stuff, and you just kind of run for it. And there's a lot of resellers that do flea markets, and then some like me that do eBay and other platforms. But it's a pretty cool place, and I talk about it a lot because I source a lot there, or used to. Um, with, with garage sale season, I've been doing a lot more of that in estate sales. And then, of course, I hit my Goodwills and Salvation Army from time to time. Um, but uh, make a good living at this. And just a little background, and again, not to bore anybody or keep the video long. Um, and that may be one reason why they have them, so their videos aren't long, is where they have multiple. Right, JT? That would be, that would be a reason. And um, anyway, um, I grew up in, I was born in Kansas, raised in Oklahoma in, in uh, Kansas a little bit. And then I ended up spending the majority of my growing up in Texas, in the Austin area. And uh, went in the Navy, served on the East Coast in Charleston, South Carolina, on the USS Wainwright. And I'll just give you a little picture of all that. And uh, it's a Gata missile cruiser. And went to the Caribbean and the Med and uh, Mediterranean. And through the Panama Canal and all that. And then uh, rode a Hurricane David in 79. That was fun off the Carolina coast. And then I went to the USS Constellation in Coronado, California and made a Westpac and went to uh, Australia, Africa, Singapore, Philippines, all those places. And uh, I was a radio in second class when I got out. Got out and I started driving a truck. I've uh, been in the trucking industry for 35 years. And when I say truck, I started out in a courier company called Pure Letter Courier as a driver. And I've held every position in the transportation industry you could probably hold from driver to dock supervisor to dispatcher to ops manager, terminal manager, safety director, and uh, sales. And so uh, I worked for, and again, not to bore you, Pure Letter Courier. We were bought by Emory Worldwide. I moved to New York. I was married to a lady for 17 years from New York. Had three wonderful daughters who ended up raising mostly myself years later. Um, and, uh, and I'm a daddy first. There, are, I have three girls, Erica, Alicia, and Sarah. They're all in their 20s and 30s, and I have five grandkids, three grandsons, two granddaughters, and they range between 2 and 12, and they all fortunately live near me. But during that career, uh, I lived in New York for a couple of years. That, that place uh, closed and moved back to Oklahoma and worked for a refrigerated carrier for a year as a safety director, uh, Pony Express Courier, American Freightways, which started out as Arkansas Freightways and is now FedEx Freight and was a dispatcher supervisor and then a ops manager and then a terminal manager in Beaumont, Texas. Um, I've lived in Dallas, Beaumont, Phoenix, and then I went and joined overnight transportation from American in sales, became a terminal manager in Beaumont, and then I was a terminal manager in Phoenix, Arizona for five years. Uh, UPS bought us the week I moved to Oklahoma again and I uh, spent my last 20 in say or 15 in sales in Oklahoma and I retired with 20 years with UPS took an early out option and I draw a pension I retired in my 50s and and now I've been a part-time eBay reseller since 04 mainly focused on jerseys and helmets and things like that and then two years ago when I retired I got into eBay semi a little bit more but I had to figure out something to do to supplement my income one my pension which is good, but um, I decided to do eBay full-time uh, about a little over a year ago. And, whew, man, seven days a week, 17 hours a day. Those of you resell, you know this. I have drawn back some now, um, not, to, not to work those many hours, but it is a seven-day-a-week job. There's no getting around it. Um, UPS uh, Freight took care of me, and... Uh, overnight was based in Richmond, Virginia, where Commonwealth Picker is up in that area, or if he's on the west side of the state. And uh, anyway, I'll get into what I sold. Um, I now do this full time. I do. It's about diversity of goods. I don't sell any one item. I, and I show the one thing you'll learn about me is that one, I make a video every day. I answer all my questions and comments. Um, and of course, I'm a small channel. I'm not like. Some of the bigger channels where they can't do that, and you get a little heart when they when they say something, and that's fine. I, I just customer service to me is important. I control it now, whereas with other carriers, I didn't always control it, and I wasn't always happy with 
true customer service, the old get full service gas stations, the taking out your groceries, all the things that don't exist anymore, talking to somebody on the phone at your local phone company, those things don't exist anymore. So I control my customer service, and when you deal with me on eBay and you buy something from me, I make it right if it's not right. Um, I'm very transparent. I show you what I bought. I tell you where I got it, good and bad, the profits off of it, and kind of what to look for and what not to look for. And I know I do not know everything about picking. I know a lot about jerseys. I know a lot about ball caps. I know about other things, and you learn as you go. Nobody, no picker knows everything about everything. But you pick up tips from watching other YouTube channels, as a lot of you do, and so do I. Um, I have my favorites as well. And then uh, I pick and I have fun with JT. I'm trying to be different than everybody else. I'm not a tech uh, person at all. I don't edit videos very well. Um, just have it take, I mean, t time. It's time. And, and taking the time to spend four hours to edit a video, I just don't have. So I show them on the screen unless, like today, they'll be live. I did that yesterday on what I sold. Typically, I do about $9,000 a month in sales. 300 items a month is about what I sell. I have over 3,000 items on eBay right now and could probably put more. I've got a death pile that'll choke a horse. But um, again, I appreciate everybody. I don't mean to ramble and I've rambled too long. I'm going to get into what I sold. And then uh, if y'all have questions or comments, please hit below. And I'm also the cap guy underscore Oklahoma on Instagram. And that is also my eBay store. The cap guy, all one word, underscore Oklahoma. And if you want to find me or buy something from me, um, I'd appreciate it. I've had four or five, six people buy stuff from me that, that watch my channel, and I bought from most of the YouTube channels that I watch. Okay, the first thing I sold, and actually, there are two things that I'll have to show you on the screen because I shipped them. If people buy, one of the things I do is I ship fast, and my videos are daily, except on Fridays and Saturdays, they're a little bit later, and I typically make them in the morning. And on my, um, when I ship, I ship every day. Every day, everything. So if it's 30 items, I'm shipping it that next day. Sometimes during the video, if I have dings on my phone when I go to check it afterwards, if you bought it from me, I'm going to go ahead and package it so I can take it to the post office. And I do ship very fast. Um, I'll go ahead and go into the things that I actually have a um, have in my possession, and I'll show you three things that I've already taken to the post office. Um I found this at the bins, the Goodwill bins, the other day, and I recognize my competition, FedEx. And this is an older FedEx vest. I couldn't believe that it was down there. And it's not super valuable, but it is an older logo for FedEx. And um, it's a large, very nice little vest. But based on weight, and everything down there is based on weight, I paid, um, and I have to put on reading glasses, 360 for this. And I sold it for $29.75 plus priority shipping, and I'm hoping to get that in a priority flat rate envelope. The next is an audio book. And I pick these up from time to time. Some of them have more value than others. This is James Axler, Deathlands. And I've sold some for really good money. Paid $202 for this at Goodwill. Sold it for $10.99 plus medium mail shipping. The next I also found at a thrift store. Uh, this is... Texas Tech Red Raiders is just a wood desk display. Nothing fancy about it, but it is nice. I paid um, $5.99 for this. Sold it for $20 bucks plus shipping on top. And that's actually going to Lubbock, where Texas Tech is based. I bought this um, the middle of July at a um, the largest world uh, garage sale in the world, supposedly, in Duncan, Oklahoma. They have it every year. And I promise you, we didn't even scratch the surface on this thing. And we left here at 5 in the morning. It's about almost two hours south of me. But this wacky wobbler, Batman, was at the first sale I went to. And I paid a dollar for him. And I could not believe, he's from 2013, I, he's, a, he's basically re representing the 1966 Batman, which I was seven then. So um, I sold him for $37.95 plus shipping. And he's going to New York City. The next is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. This is Worm. 
and I guess that's because of this thing. I bought 60 of these for 60 bucks, or 62 of these for 60 bucks the other day at a yard sale. There's one that's worth about 150. It's called Crag or Crang, and he's he's 11 inch. These smaller ones, there's some that have value, and obviously it's not the turtles that have all the value. It's the the odd characters that that aren't actually the teenage turtles. Um, but I paid basically a buck a piece for these, so I sold this for $14.95 with free shipping, and I'll make a little bit on that. Some are more valuable than others, like I said. The next one is a Kevin Durant Oklahoma City Thunder jersey, and as jerseys go, this isn't as desirable as it was when he played here. Obviously, he plays, but Oklahoma City, I won't get into politics, but Oklahoma City has bad feelings for him. Me being a Texas Longhorn fan from Austin, I love the man. It's business. So it is what it is. And um, then I sold two of these. I found these also at the bins. And don't pass on Hot Wheels and other little cars. These are Mickey Mouse, and I'll try to get this where you can see them, cars. And I just, when I see Hot Wheels, I grab them. And I've got a tote out there I could probably go through, and there's probably probably 600 cars that I haven't time. It's about time again. Um, I paid uh, basically 10 cents for these at the bins based on weight. It's 69 cents a pound for hard goods. Sold them for $12 plus shipping on top. So I'll make a good profit on those. And then I'm going to show you the three things. And one of them's a pretty good deal here. Um, I'm going to have to go back and I apologize for not having that ready. I forgot that I had... Um, done this and as you can see okay the three things that I sold um, actually there's two here no there's three I'm sorry all right this vintage champion um, it's a uh, sweatshirt and I got this at Goodwill for five thirty-five, and I recognize um, vintage, and I look for the vintage clothing. Um, let's see if I can get you a good picture of this tag. And of course, my oh, here we go. There's the one I'm after. Basically, I paid five thirty-five and sold this for fifteen ninety-nine plus shipping. It's just a blank one, but you can see it's the Chica, the Champion Eco Authentic. It is a large. Okay. The next one. Is. Right here. I bought this, uh, I, I have a viewer in Australia, uh, Nate, and I bought a bunch of stuff from him. Mainly it was uh, Australian football, rugby type stuff, ball caps, but he had a, a vintage Steve Austin Stone Cold t-shirt from the 90s that I bought and I just sold it for $95. He had um, an Astro Boy t-shirt that's also vintage and I actually have it on eBay right now. I haven't listed all the rugby and stuff, but he had this Arena Orlando Predators jersey, Russell Athletic. At the time, I didn't realize that's who it was. I'm not a big uh, arena football fan, but I got it and paid about $25 to $30 with shipping and everything combined. And I just sold this. I listed it two days ago and sold it yesterday for $75. And I shipped it same day. I actually made a second trip to the post office on this. So it's a really nice jersey and Russell Athletic XL. Um, look for those. Those are good good finds. And um, I've almost got my money back from purchasing and spending $62 in shipping on about eight items. So don't be afraid to buy from people overseas. And, and uh, you got, of course, you got to keep your cost of goods and stuff in there. And here's the last one I sold. Paid 75 cents for this at a uh, kind of a storage clean out. I bought a bunch of these Sims games. He wanted 75 cents a piece. So I bought them. And any of them with the expansion packs are really good too. But this one didn't have that. This is Simpsons 3 World's Bundle. Paid 75 cents and sold it for $21.99 plus shipping. So those are my sales yesterday. It was 10 sales. I had 
251.22 in total sales off of 48.14 in cost of goods. Typically, my cost of goods, you'll see if you watch my videos back other than yesterday's, they're typically in that $14 to $25 range. And I've made as much as 800 bucks in a day. So anyway, I hope you enjoy the show. Again, thank you for the new subscribers. I really appreciate it. I'm just trying to grow the channel and teach others. Again, if you got questions, comment below, good or bad, and uh, let me know what you think. And the cap guy, as we always do, we'll talk to you again tomorrow with JT, of course. And y'all have a great day, and thanks again.